Okay, welcome to today's issue of the AKT 30 day challenge. So less than a week to go now. So let's start as ever with a high yield question. Here we go. So the correct answer here is E, a four-month-old baby with a temperature of 39.9 degrees Celsius. So it's a very tricky question because all of the others here are high risk and this question was specifically asking about moderate to high risk. So NICE stratifies risk in suspected sepsis into three categories. So there's low risk, moderate to high risk and then high risk. Okay. So some of the features to be looking out for when you're suspecting sepsis, and it's important to document these in the medical records. Um, so things like behavior, um, uh, respiratory features, circulation and hydration, skin, temperature, and then a, a few sort of that don't quite fit into that, the other. So let's look at some of the important features. So if we start with behavior, one of the worrying things would be sort of no response to social cues, okay? Um, if we look at respiratory, um, tachypnea, and what we'd consider to be tachypnea that's uh, uh, you know risky, here we go, um, apnea, grunting, these are all high risk. In terms of the skin, we'll be looking for things like mottled or ashen skin, cyanosis, of course a non-blanching rash is, is worrying and would warrant uh, an urgent uh, admission for assessment. Um, so temperature, which is one of the features that we looked at, so temperature of 39 or more in a three to six month old is considered moderate to high risk. And, and this was the feature that was in, in this question. Um, under three months, then a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius or more is considered high risk. And then at any age, um, a temperature under 36 degrees Celsius is worry. And then in the other category, things that don't quite fit into this, so things like leg pain, these are moderate to high risk features. Okay, so uh, sepsis is a really important topic and acute problems, emergencies in primary care, specifically uh, acutely unwell children was one of the features that was highlighted in a previous exam as an area that people struggled with, so it's worth revising these things. Now, we've got less than a week to go, as I mentioned earlier. It's really important by this time you might be feeling a little bit fed up of looking at textbooks, of reading. So what you want to do is you want to make the most use of these last few days by being efficient. Go through the curriculum checklist. Any areas that you don't feel confident in, do some focused reading on those areas. Um, if you haven't already done so, you might find it useful to sit down and do a full mock exam so that you see the pressure of time, you can work on your time management and exam technique, but there's still enough time that if you identify any areas that you need to work on, you can quickly recap those. So I hope that's been useful. Just keep pushing. Every question, every extra bit of reading will make a big difference. You're nearly there now. And, you know, all that hard work is going to pay off. Just keep it going. You're going to get there. You're going to get through this exam. So do join us again tomorrow for another high yield question. Thank you.